Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media. In this tutorial, I wanted to uh, start a mini series of toots that I'm going to do on working in session view inside of live. In this first one, I just wanted to talk a little bit about keyboard MIDI mapping inside of live. We can automate pretty much everything we want in live with any type of MIDI controller or keyboard. You can map off of machine, you can map off of your control keyboard if you have one. You can really map off of any keyboard you have. Uh, as long as it can send and receive MIDI data, you can do some awesome stuff with it. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, MIDI mode in general. And to enter MIDI mode, we go ahead and click this little button in the top right corner and everything turns purple. And now everything that's purple is something that we can assign a parameter to. So for example, I can come in here and I'm going to touch the row of knobs on my control keyboard. And I just do this one, I touch it. Go to the next one, touch the knob and it assigns it. Next one, the next one, and the next one. So if I come out of MIDI mode now, I can use my keyboard and control all of my levels. And so that's pretty useful. It lets us set up a quick mix maybe on our controller. We can also use toggle switches. So if I go back into MIDI mode, um, again, I'm on a control here, but you can use literally anything, any kind of toggle button. So I'm going to use a number of the toggle buttons in the uh, transport section of my control because they're not currently mapped to anything. And I'm just going to trigger my on-offs. And now I can turn off or on any of my particular channels, which can be nice if you're doing some live remixing or something. So already we've done some really fast keyboard mapping and we can control some, some of the mix style parameters. Let me turn those back on. And so that's one really cool way of working inside of there. However, one of the coolest things about session view is that we have, obviously we have scenes and tracks and each of these individual clips can be triggered with the mouse and they sync up at the next go round of however long it is. So if I And if I want to stop something, I just click the play stop button. And this lets you experiment with different types of arrangements and all kinds of cool things. If we get something we like, we can always come up here and record it right into our arrangement window. But one of the cooler things about this is we have these scenes here. And so when I trigger something on a scene, everything that happens in that particular scene is triggered. And that can be very useful for setting up live sets, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But when we get into MIDI mode with this stuff, we can actually get even further. On our keyboard, we can come over here, and this is why I have these staggered, so I got a nice visual. I'm going to come in and just really quickly click one and start assigning them to keyboards. I'm assigning them to white keys, but you can put them wherever you want. And then I'll go up an octave and do the same thing here. And then I like to come in here and actually assign these to the black keys in the same octave. That gives me a nice off or a null as we call it sometimes. Other times I'll put maybe my beats on the white keys and maybe toppers or accent parts on the black keys so I can trigger them. So I've got everything mapped out right now, at least as far as my clips go. And so I can come in here and we'll start by turning everybody off, get it playing, and now... So you get the sense I'm just literally triggering scenes. Now, one thing that's even cooler with that is, for example, we want to have different pitches in here. Currently, if I come into MIDI map mode, 
and I look at this, I'm on G3. And so instead of G3, I'm actually going to click G all the way up to B on the same octave. And it's going to ask me, I have a conflict, it's already mapped, but I'll say yes. And now if I play G, when I get out of MIDI mode, that will solo this out. So we're maintaining tempo, but we're actually changing the pitch of the clip itself. It's part of uh, Live's warp functionality. And so that's some pretty cool things we can do. And if we also want to come in here and say assign MIDI to a particular range, maybe I'll come down here. Etc. Etc. You get the idea. Now I can actually trigger scenes with my MIDI keyboard. And so I'll get out a solo on that one track, and now I can come up here and use my keyboard to trigger particular scenes. Between being able to control scenes, trigger individual clips, as well as stop individual clips with, with nulls, we get a lot of experimentation and keyboard-based control that lets us get creative before we actually put together an arrangement or maybe working inside of a live set. So I hope that was useful for you. If you have questions, please leave a comment on the YouTube page. I'll make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel. I'm Stephen Ellisted. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.